Hey everybody, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and welcome to episode number 129 of Whip Wednesdays. Can you believe it? 129 episodes of these weekly live shows. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking about a new quilting related online course and a project. It's kind of like a course slash quilt along, but before we dive into the details of that course, let's make sure that y'all can see me and hear me. So if you are popping into the chat, either on Facebook or on YouTube, let me know where you are tuning in from. We're coming to y'all from North Central Florida, where it is feeling a little like summer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Glenda in the house from Boston. Margie from Wisconsin. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lynette. Uh, Janelle from Illinois. Hey, girl. Uh, Miss Deborah tuning in from Port St. Lucie, Florida. We got Phyllis from Philadelphia. Marlene from Greenville, South Carolina. Awesome. Okay, great. Hi, Janice tuning in from Bradenton, Florida. We got Cindy from Rockford, Illinois. Cool. Ooh, I feel like we have new people, some new people on here. I'm not sure, but maybe. Hi, Roxanne tuning in from Ohio. And we got Clarice in the house from a little south of us in the Villages, Florida. Great. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Last week, I shared a little sneak peek picture on my Crafty Gemini Facebook page. If you're on Facebook and you don't follow me there, head on over. Make sure you follow me there. It's um, one of the places where I post the most often, I would say. And I shared a picture of some colorful five inch by five inch square pieces of fabric with some background fabric. And I kind of teased to this new quilt along and online course that I'm going to be launching. Several people were interested. And like I always tell everybody, if you're new around these parts, make sure that you are subscribed to the Crafty Gemini e-newsletter. You can find that by going to craftygemini.com right on the homepage. You'll see where it says email sign up or you can just go to the direct link, which is craftygemini.com forward slash newsletter. And that way you can sign up because my newsletter subscribers are the first ones to get the details of what is going on. So several of you that are already on here chatting and tuned in early because you are Whip Wednesday uh, pros by now have already signed up for the class and I haven't even announced it yet. So that's some of the perks of being on the e-newsletter, especially when we have limited number of certain things like kits or, or patterns or whatever it's going on sale prices and things like that. If you're on the newsletter, you can get in first. Okay. All right. <laughs> Susie says the queen of dangling. Every time I do some little sneak peek posts, uh, Susie always posts little carrot emojis. <laughs> like I'm dangling the carrot. Uh, it's, it's marketing. You know, I run a business here. We got to do it up and get people enticed and excited to do it. There she is. We're her three carrot emojis. <laughs> I always laugh when I see that Susie. So thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get started. I'm going to talk about the class. Hi, Heather. She says, I'm all signed up. Awesome. Let's go ahead. Oh, before we leave this shot, do y'all remember my hoodie? Hoodie t-shirt that I made in the Jolly Laurent class that we did. Remember, it was like a t-shirt and a hoodie class. Well, this sample I whipped up was a t-shirt, the short sleeve t-shirt with the hood and the hood pocket. They're all different fabrics. The hood and the kangaroo pocket is one fabric. And then the main fabric here is an old black and white architectures print uh, by my friend Carolyn Friedlander for Robert Kaufman on the cotton spandex. And then black solid cotton spandex fabric for the sleeves. Looking kind of funky, urban, New York, Miami girl. Very today with the big hoops. I like it. Just thought I would share that with y'all because I know we talked about or I showed making it or when the shirt was in pieces. Thank you, Miss Lynette. She says, you're looking good in that shirt. It feels so comfy. By the way, if you're looking for black cotton spandex that you can use for color blocking, things like this, or just to make a plain black tee or black hoodie, we still have one yard cuts left that were left over that we were using in that project as ribbing because it has more than enough stretch to be used as ribbing in those types of patterns and projects, okay? So I just wanted to share that with y'all, but let's go ahead and switch everybody over to my over the shoulder camera shot. And we're going to start talking about the new quilting class. And I'm going to share with you a little bit more about the stripology rulers. So if you recall, because I did a little haul when I went to QuiltCon with my friends, Laura and Laura, uh, back in February, I stopped by my friend Gudrun's booth and you can show them the picture that we took with uh, Gudrun and I, that I took with her at her booth. She's been in the quilting industry and the game for decades, y'all. She's the OG of quilting. So if you don't know who Gudrun is, definitely check her out. They also have weekly live shows, maybe I want to say three times a week, different things. She does a show on Tuesdays called Tipsy Tuesday that if I'm in my studio working, I usually catch it on my big TV here. So many great, amazing quilting tips, products, fabric bundles. It's, I mean, they're an amazing, again, family owned business as well. We got to meet one of her sons. Uh, while we were there chatting with them at the booth. 
I actually went by to try and buy some fabric. They were sold out of, so I had to buy it in the online shop. And y'all remember, um, I don't have the bundle here, but it's what I use for my Essentials wallet last couple weeks. Um, she's the one that I buy the, the, the fabric from eBond. Remember that Free Spirit Fabrics we were talking about last week? I bought it from her website. And then what else? And then I went to buy the, a book that she had, and they were sold out too, so I had to get it online. But it's okay. <laughs> they have awesome products, and she's the designer behind Stripology rulers that are made by Creative Grids, okay? So I have been talking to Gudrun for several years now. We actually have had these patterns for a while, but I finally could fit it into my editorial calendar to launch this class today for y'all, okay? Uh, it's a quick and, I mean, let me stop. It's an easy pattern. It's quick if you know what you're doing, and it's going to be even quicker if you sign up for my class in Quilt Salon because I'm going to visually, with my video lessons, walk you through every single step. So this is the pattern that we're going to be making. It's called the Lil Nelly, and it is one of Gudrun's patterns. Uh, her business name and the company name is GE Design, so whenever you see that, that's her, okay, in her business. Now, she has hundreds hundreds of patterns and we'll talk about another one because I have a quilt here that I made last summer just to kind of refresh your memory if y'all don't recall but we'll talk about that next um the Lil Nelly whenever you see one of her patterns that says Lil in front of it it means it's basically the smaller table runner ish version of a larger quilt so for those of you that are going to be joining into my joining my class and you make the table runner if you like it you like the construction steps and it's kind of easy for you to put together then you may consider getting her pattern the Nelly which would then incorporate the same blocks but on a larger scale quilt design so I wanted to kind of kick off this online quilting course and quilt along with a smaller project kind of like a palette cleanser if you will you know we can't just all dive in with our busy schedules into like making like, let's make a queen size quilt, right? Everybody's like, oh, I don't have time for that. Because I'm sure if you're anything like me, you have several of those big quilts in bins, tubs, on your table, in a shelf, or on a shelf somewhere that need to be completed. So let's, let's make a little guy here with the simple table runner. Now, the pattern features five inch by five inch square pieces of fabric. So if you have a lot of charm packs or other pre-cut five inch squares in your stash, grab a stack because you won't even need the full stack, okay? The pattern calls for 26 of those assorted uh, five inch squares, and then you're gonna need a matching amount of whatever the background fabric is going to be. So, for those of you that are thinking maybe you wanna tune in, you wanna do the class, but you don't know nothing about fabrics and all that stuff, we have put together some little supply kits for y'all. They're not complete supply kits, but I'm gonna go through so you know what you're getting. And remember, all the links are in the description box below. We put them in the Facebook caption as well if you're tuning in on Facebook, okay? Uh, let me show you what comes in the kit. If you wanna tune into the class, it's kinda like how I do my garment sewing classes where you need to purchase different products on the site. So one is going to be for the online course by itself. So say you have this pattern already in your stash or you purchase the PDF pattern from Gudrun's site, which inclu I included my affiliate link to their site. So I saw some of you have already purchased uh, the PDF version. Those of you that live overseas or outside of the US, maybe you have plenty of fabric, maybe you already own a Stripology ruler or two, and you wanna participate in the course, but you don't wanna pay for shipping on something this light, like just one little pattern, you could use my affiliate link and get the PDF pattern from GE Designs, and then sign up for my course, and then you'll be all set to go, right? Just pick fabrics from your stash, and you'll be good to go. If you would like to order a kit from us, okay, to participate, remember, you got to sign up for the course separately, and then you can get the kit. The kit already includes a hard copy pattern, so you don't need to buy the kit and then also the pattern. Make sense? You have a hard copy pattern included in the kit. Then you're going to get a charm pack here. It's 5 inch by 5 inch squares. There's 42 different squares in here. And it's from the Lace Collection by Hoodie Crescent. And it's by Paintbrush Studio Fabrics. I was a little disappointed with that they chose to put just like the gray piece of fabric on top of the, of the stack. Because it doesn't look that fun, right? But I'll show you some of, well, I'll show you all the pieces here. These are the tonals that come in that charm pack, Okay. And I have them separated because I'm still in the process of filming the lessons for the video course. And we'll get to talking about dates and when the first videos go live and all that stuff so that you all will have these next couple of days to just get signed up, choose your fabrics, get your supplies if you need anything before we get ready to start, okay? But this stack includes all of these super fun colors. These are the ones that I'm using in the table runner that we're making because I picked them out. I sorted them out. Remember, one of these packs comes with 42 squares and we only need 26 for the project. 
So you're going to have some left over. So you'll notice that I chose kind of like the most brightest, funnest colors in here. Aren't they pretty? Super, super fun stuff. And then I left some of these darker ones, but you can choose kind of a slightly different color palette and maybe incorporate some of these in there and leave out maybe some of the yellows and oranges or whatever you want to do. But you do have some extras, which is going to be key because the way that I teach is we don't just jump right into the ones you want to use in case you make a mistake in the cutting or in the piecing. So I'm teaching you to start off with some of the scrap pieces. They're not really scrap, but we're going to make sample blocks first so you can get down the technique, the increments that we're going to be cutting it the, into the different half square triangles that we make before you get it down and then you start jumping into these. So you're going to have extra fabric. That's going to be great if you are. And so there you go. Those are the 42 squares that are in here. You can kind of tell from the side there how many fun colors. Let me keep these separated. Then aside from that, so we said the hard copy pattern, the charm pack that comes in it, then you're getting the background fabric. And so the majority of you are going to have one color of this, and then some of you end up with um, another gray that's pretty much the same as this. It's just a slightly different tonal design. They all go great. It's kind of not like this. It's a little bit darker so that you have enough contrast from the squares. But don't worry because it was me that chose the fabrics and everything goes perfectly. All right. So you get the background fabric. You're getting almost a yard of this, 25 inches, which is going to give you enough for the background fabric of the assorted squares, right? The color part that you see on the sample here is what we're going to make up with the colored charms. That dark gray that they have on the sample here is going to be your lighter gray. And then you'll have enough here to do all the background squares. You have some left over to play around and audition exactly how we make the blocks. And then you have enough for the two skinny borders that go on along the sides here. All right. So the only thing that's not included in this kit is your backing and binding fabric. So choose something from your stash that kind of matches up once you get to that point. I'm someone who really doesn't, I mean, unless it's something that's super color coordinated, I usually wait until the quilt is done to then see like, okay, I see a little bit of this color, that color, or, you know, there's a little bit of lime green here. I kind of want to make that pop a little more by selecting my binding to frame it out in a similar color. So I'm going to wait, even on my finished sample, I'm waiting to see um, what color I want to use for my binding. Okay. So even if you get a kit, you'll still need to get a backing piece, which all you really need is, um, half a yard of fabric. I mean, 19 inches, get a, a hair more so you can trim it down, but that's all you need for the backing and then whatever binding fabric you're going to use. Okay. What I also went ahead and included there. So we said hard copy pattern, the charm pack, the background fabric and the borders. And then we put in a matching piece of light fusible batting. So for table runners, I'm a big fan of using a fusible batting for home decor type projects like this because it's easy, super lightweight. It's still going to be nice and pliable even though it's a fusible product. Uh, and so you get a chunk of this in here larger than what the finished quilt is going to be. So you'll have plenty to go all the way around it and trim it down to size. Then you're also going to get a spool and this is 1,094 yards of 100% double gas Egyptian cotton. This is wonderful confetti. This is amazing stuff. If you've never used this cotton thread for piecing, you're in for a treat. It's awesome. I love, love, love it. And uh, each kit is going to come with a neutral color. It's either white or like a really pale cream color. So either one will work for this and you have a ton in there. So this is, I think, almost a $9 value, just the thread by itself. Then you're going to get um, one of these little bonus stickers. It's a little holographic that says sewing equals happiness, hashtag crafty Gemini, and then my little autograph thank you card. Okay, so that's what you get in the kit. Remember, if you're getting the kit, you don't also need to buy the separate pattern because the kit includes the hard copy pattern. Okay, hope that makes sense. Hi, Tracy. She says I'm all signed up and the kit is ordered. Let's do a quick roll call. Who else has already signed up for the course? I can't wait to see. Uh, Y'all's finished projects, especially those of you that are going to be using different fabrics. If you're buying the kit, I like to provide this type of an option because I know a lot of times some of you may struggle with selecting fabrics and things like that. Plus, I'm teaching the video lessons with the exact same fabric kit you have. Okay, so everything that I'm doing, you just follow along exactly the same and you'll be making one alongside me. Okay, um, let me not lose these pieces. I'll put this right back here. So that's the kit. Okay. So real quickly, I want to go through some different options because when you look at the featured tab on our website, there are going to be four, four items. 
One is the course for making the Lil Nelly, just the course by itself, okay? Which is not gonna be much because you need to have the pattern. And so it's not one of my patterns, which means you need to purchase the pattern separately. The options included are buying a hard copy pattern from us, buying a PDF from GE Designs, or buying our kit, which includes the pattern, okay? So that's three options. You have the course, the pattern, the kit, and then the stripology ruler, okay? So the pattern, obviously, since she's the creator of the stripology rulers, I have all of them, by the way. I'm only featuring this, the squared mini right here. This is one of the smaller ones. If you've never tried a stripology ruler, this is a great one to start with because it's smaller. I mean, you can move it. And there's a lot going on because you can do so much with them, okay? So I'm going to show you a couple different things. In the step-by-step -step video lessons, and I believe there's 12 video lessons. The first one is not going live until this, uh, what is it? Until Saturday, this Saturday at noon, okay? So today's Wednesday, you got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and even Sunday, you know, to gather up your supplies, get everything ready. We're shipping the kits out tomorrow morning. So those of you that have ordered, some of you, if you live closer to us here in Florida, you may have yours already by Saturday. Uh, the rest of you should get it shortly thereafter, okay? Now, the first videos, one through six, will be posted on Saturday, April 20th, okay? The next videos, seven through 11, are gonna be posted next Tuesday. And then, that's the 23rd of April. And then the last video, which is just making an attaching binding so you can finish off your quilt, uh, your quilted table runner, will be posted next Friday, the 26th. So by next Friday, all 12 video lessons will be posted and you'll be off and going. You can rewatch, replay, watch the videos over and over again. Now, aside from the video lessons, I am including three separate live question and answer chats where we will get on live. Only, we're not gonna be right here on Facebook for the public to see. These are private live question and answer sessions just for my registered students, so you can ask questions specific to this project that we're working on, okay? And I'll give you the dates right now so you know. We are going to meet this Sunday, April 21st, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Then again, the second one will be the following Sunday, April 28th, at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And then the third and final live Q&A will be the following Friday, May 3rd, okay? at 8 p.m. So I tried to kind of stagger the times a little bit. I know our overseas friends, hopefully the 4 p.m., I mean, it's still the middle of the night for the people in the UK, but um, for our Australian friends, I know that uh, it'll be the next morning for y'all, so hopefully that works a little bit. And then remember that if you cannot attend my live question and answer sessions, they're all recorded. So you can always go back and just watch the replay and they won't leave. They'll be there indefinitely, just like the video lessons, okay? Okay, let's pop into the chat. Jean says, heading over right now to sign up. Yay! Kat says, I'm all signed up and I ordered the kit too. Awesome. You know what's going to be fun to see? The backing and the binding fabric that everybody who ends up with a kit chooses to use to see what colors from the charm pack y'all use and what binding you decide to use to make it kind of pop. That's going to be so fun to see. So definitely, if you're not already on our Facebook group for Crafty Gemini Quilt Club, that's where we're going to be posting all the quilty stuff. Okay, so make sure that you do a quick search for that and you can ask us to let you into the club or to the group so that we can see your pictures there. Those of you that are using your own fabrics from Stash, we definitely want to see your table runners too. Lori says, I'm just signed up and I bought a kit. Awesome. Uh, Jules is asking, uh, do you ship the kit to the UK? Yes, we absolutely can ship to the, the kit to the UK. If you don't see a shipping option, just email us and um, if we still have kits left, we can set it up for you to get it over to the UK. It'll obviously just take longer. Jamie says she got hers. Heather says she's all signed up. Margie's all signed up. Janelle too. Ooh, this is gonna be so fun. Awesome. Okay, I'm excited to get back to a little quilting something. So what I was talking about the Stripology uh, squared mini ruler, which is this guy here, we have these in stock, okay? So we are selling them. Yes, they are pricey, but they pack a punch because there's a lot going on. Now I know I love to cut the fabric. We all know I say that all the time. Y'all, a lot of you hate cutting fabric. And so I know that a lot of my students who don't like the cutting, maybe you don't hate it, but you don't love it like I do. When you look at something like this, I know you're thinking way too many lines, too many numbers. I can't do it. So that's why I'm here because in the video lessons for the Lil Nelly table runner, I'm going to walk you through exactly how we need to use this stripology squared mini ruler to make the blocks. And I have a couple blocks here because I've been making samples of these quilts for 
a little while now in two different colorways, but this is the finished little block that we're going to be making, okay? Like this. When y'all see how this comes together, how you end up making this from a half square triangle, you're going to be like, um, yes, make all my quilts like this, please. And the stripology rulers and, of course, Gudrun's design and instructions make it super easy. So I'm going to be breaking everything down for you in my teaching style, which, which I know many of you that are tuning in can follow my teaching style. So I think this is going to be super fun because I'm going to be breaking down exactly where we need to be lining things up with the Stripology Squared Mini so that you can kind of, if you have one of these already, I would highly recommend that you sign up for this uh, project or this course that I'm offering because I'm going to show you how to use the ruler so that you can make these blocks. And when you, I feel like when you're learning something new, especially like using a new tool or gadget, if you're learning how to use it, via a specific style of instruction and for a specific project, it makes it easier versus me saying, okay, grab a, grab a uh, fat quarter. We're going to fold it in half twice. And now I want you to cut three and seven eighths inch strips. You know what I mean? So as we make this, I think you're going to become a lot more comfortable and confident using these types of rulers. And that's why we're starting off with the little one. Now, this is another thing. Super awesome. Although the project is designed to be you or to be made with the Stripology Squared Mini, you don't have to have the ruler. We know these acrylic rulers can be super pricey. This one specifically has slits through it if you're not familiar with Stripology style rulers. And I'll do a little quick demo just to show you how it works. But you got to be careful with these because if you put down any pressure down this way or up, you can snap these because there's all these slits in between that allow for the blade of your rotary cutter to go in through there. So if you struggle with precise cuts, for these types of projects like this, stripology rulers are going to be awesome, okay? So um, what I was going to say was that Gudrun, in the design here, the instructions in the pattern are for using the stripology ruler or using regular rulers. So y'all know in my video lessons, I'm going to teach you obviously both ways. So you don't have to have the ruler either, okay? If you have regular quilting rulers, something like my Crafty Gemini 5 inch by 10 inch will come in handy because you can even use this ruler to cut your own 5 inch by 5 inch square pre-cuts. And this is actually how I teach it in the video lesson of how to cut your fabrics because we cut up our yardage to create the matching background pieces that are going to match with the charm squares from the pre-cut pack that we're using for those of us that got the kit. Okay, so I actually do use my five inch by 10 inch ruler to cut the background squares that are gonna go with the other ones. Okay, so I teach you how to do that. Then when it comes to making the half square triangles, trimming them up to size, making the cuts and slits through them so that you can piece together the blocks that look like this to create the little Nelly table runner, that's where I show you with the Stripology Squared Mini Ruler how to do it and also with regular ruler how to do it. So no matter what your setup is in terms of rulers, you're gonna be all set, okay? All right. So let's see. Yes, Tracy says, I have five of the Stripology rulers and have never used them. Ah, Tracy, don't tell me that. She says, so this class will be great. Oh, you're going to be hooked. You're going to be hooked. Surely if you bought them all, it's because you saw something in there and you thought maybe I'll get to it. But I know, I know when we look at something like this, you're thinking, what is going on? I see black lines, white lines, solid circles, dashed lines. Like there's way too much going on. But as long as you know what you need to be using for that specific cut or project, it really is a game changer. Now, here's another little game changing tip. And we have plugged these before on uh, our Whip Wednesday episodes. And these are the g Easy ruler stickers. This is another product that Gudrun designed. And we actually sell these in our shop. So we are one of their wholesalers as well as being an affiliate. I love their products. So, you know, we carry it in the shop. And I also personally as a quilter love to use her stuff and make her patterns. I design quilts, but it's like mindless. Like I see a cute quilt she has in a book and I'm like, I'm just going to make it and I'll show you one in a minute. But these ruler stickers are awesome because you can use them on your patterns to point things out, to highlight things. You can use them on your ruler. If you know you're going to be cutting a bunch of like, and these, <laughs> if you're wondering where I'm picking these off of is the side of my cutting table here because I had them on another ruler and I took them off so that I can then use them on here. So we're not going to get into an exact, uh, you know, tutorial with this. Obviously, if you sign up for the class, well, we're going to make these blocks with the ruler. But just to point out real quick, apologies for the glare. There we go. These solid black circles here say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, okay? So if I was cutting, say, 2-inch strips, 
you could put one of these bright colored ruler stickers, point it to the two. You can do another one right here at zero. And that could just serve to remind you of like, where am I lining things up here? And then I need to drop my blade of my rotary cutter into where the next ruler uh, sticker is. And that's at the two so that you don't get mixed up with like any of the half inch increments or the next size over. So there's all kinds of ways. Sometimes what I do with these guys and they come in different colors and I just ripped this one in half. You can even write on them. I find that they're too small for me to write on them. So what I do is, and I'll, and I'll show you, each pack comes with three different colors. So what I end up usually doing, you can see this is the tropical one, I think. Yeah, tropical brights palette. It has the hot pink, the blue, and the lime green. And then the fruity fiesta one has like a purple, a yellow, and a red, okay? What I end up doing is like I'll pick one color of the sticker sheets for each step, okay? So if the first cut that I need to make is from here to here, I will put the ruler stickers there. If then I need to trim up a block, I'll use a different color and point to the corners of the one that I need to line up to trim up. And this might not make sense right now because again, we're not doing it, we're not using it in a type of project, but in the course, it'll all make sense. Because, and I'll try to zoom this in a little bit here. Um, let me get this gray thing behind it so we get a little more contrast on the lines. Okay, there we go, better. So, you can see that there are black lines, but there are also white lines. Do you see that? So those white lines are great for using them to trim up your blocks, which in the project, we actually end up using them to trim our half square triangles down to a specific size. So if you are making something that finishes three inches by three inches finished, you know, if you're a quilter, that before you piece it to something else, it needs to be at three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And so we have those squares in here for three and a half, for two and a half, for four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half inch square that we could use those white lines to help trim it up. Okay. I'll show you. Let me see if I can. Where's the one? Oh. I'm just going to do a, a quickie little demo here. Because I know some people are like, uh, what is the point of that almost $50 ruler? It's hard to explain until you use them. Then you're like, oh, duh. <laughs> Diana says she's bought the arrow stickers and hasn't used them yet. And so this, Diana, if you're going to be doing this and you're getting the stripology ruler, it's going to be awesome. So notice one thing. The zero is here and the edge of the ruler is here. So you might be wondering, why would the zero be here? Isn't it going to throw me off that it's not starting at the edge of the ruler? Well, it's because the zero has a slit right there. So here's one cool thing. If you know, whenever I'm telling y'all to cut fabric or we're getting ready to start cutting pieces out of some yardage, I always tell you clean off the edge first, right? To make sure that you're now measuring from a perfectly straight edge. So you put that zero and there's a little line like an eighth of an inch over from that slit. So that for me is going to be just enough so that we're not making a huge cut like an inch in just to clean off the edge, right? We don't want to waste our fabric. So I usually will line up that eighth inch line because that way if the fabric is mostly straight, I know that I don't have to come too far over. But you have a good bit. You have a whole inch to the left of this. So I'm going to align it there so that I have about an eighth of an inch over and I see it's a little shorter there than it is here. So I do want to go ahead and drop my rotary cutter blade into the zero slit and cut this, okay? So cool thing. This is all the way to my left and I'm right hand dominant. I don't want to put my hand here and crisscross over to try and cut, right? Well, this extra chunk of acrylic plastic here is just enough for me to put a couple fingers, hold the ruler down, and then you're going to drop the blade into this teardrop shape that's at the bottom here. So it's not a slit all the way. Instead, it's wider at the bottom and at the top so that you can insert the rotary cutter blade and exit it at the top. So I'm actually going to scoot this up because I want to make sure that I can cut the full length of this an eighth of an inch over somewhere there. Okay. And so when I cut at zero, it's going to clean off everything to the left of there. And then I know that any, um, subsequent slit or cuts that I need to make down these slits, I can go from exactly where I just cut at zero and count over, right? By looking at my numbers or from wherever I place my stickers. So the trickiest part of using the stripology rulers is getting it down in terms of putting the rotary cutter blade into the teardrop. Okay. That's the trickiest part for people. They're like, Oh, I'm hitting the plastic. I'm hitting the plastic. It just has a, um, a, a little bit of a learning curve like anything else, but you can open up or expose your rotary cutter blade and you can turn it sideways just so you see exactly, and then straighten it up. 
okay? It needs to be absolutely straight in there. If you're someone who's still kind of new to rotary cutting and you tend to cut a little sideways or you <laughs> have chipped off chunks of your plastic rulers, you're definitely going to want to practice before you start messing up your stripology rulers. So you can kind of go in sideways, but then straighten it up nice and straight. And notice I'm only holding it here in that excess of uh, acrylic plastic. And then I just follow the slit all the way till I can't no more. And I take it out. And if I lift this up, you'll see that I cut that little sliver off. Okay. So I just put it back on there. Easy peasy. I normally would just leave it there until I'm done cutting all my slits. Then you can remove the ruler and take it off. Okay. So that you don't have to be like repositioning this thing. But now we have a clean cut edge and we're at zero, right? So say we needed to cut two inch strips. I go here, there's two, and I already have my mark there. I would normally have, say, another one here at four, another one at six, depending on what the increments are that you need so that you see. Wherever you see a little arrow or ruler sticker, drop the blade, cut straight. Drop the blade, cut straight. Now, one thing to show is that I have the ruler oriented this way, so I'm looking at the full inch increments, and then where you see these stars are half inch increments, right? So if instead of cutting two inch strips, I was cutting two and a half, okay? I would go like this and put the little arrow at the two and a half. There's a slit right there. And then I would put the arrow at the five. Whoop, and I bent mine up, it's no big deal. You know, you have three full sheets of them, so you can cut them up, make them skinnier, point them out, do the straight end of it, use more, whatever. I'm just trying to reuse the one that I've been using for literally two years. <laughs> um, so I have a zero at two and a half at five. Okay. So that's giving me, if I drop the blade in each of these, I'm going to end up with two and a half inch strips. So the same thing I go here, I drop the blade in, cut straight, take it out, come here. My next arrow is here, cut straight. Okay. Just like that. And when I take this off, you'll see that we have boom, boom, the two strips that are exactly two and a half inches. And one of the things that I think the stripology rulers really, really help with is for those of you that dislike cutting strips, you know what happens, right? We start cutting, you go two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. By the time you get to like that fourth or fifth cut, now your, your strips are like slanted, right? So you usually have to stop, re-clean off the edge, make it straight, and then start again. You don't have that type of waste with these because the weight of the ruler is holding everything down. So because you're not repositioning a ruler for every cut, you don't end up going, ooh, 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 ooh. you know how that goes. With every additional cut, we kind of like scoot the ruler and it keeps turning and turning and getting more and more crooked. Because you're doing it all at once, they're steady flat and you're cutting them perfectly straight, okay? Now you can imagine this was the little guy and I only cut two strips. The big stripology one, you can cut. I mean, I don't even know you because you can layer up multiple layers of fabric through there, cut it with a 60 millimeter rotary cutter. People cut, I mean, tons, 14, 12, different strips like to whip up binding for a queen size quilt you can do it on there okay so it makes real simple cutting of these types of pieces but it's not just for strips as you'll see when we get to the class we're using it for trimming it up and for cutting okay so lynette says i'm not a quilter that ruler is awesome oh you're gonna love it we might just convert you yet miss lynette into a quilter Yes, Windless Original says not needing to move the ruler is the chef's kiss. It is, and so it's a game changer, okay? So just so you know, we do have the Stripology Squared Mini Rulers in stock. They're some of the easiest ones to ship because they're smaller, more compact, but we'll be shipping them with cardboard on e either side so that you don't run the risk of snapping these um, little pieces in here because, again, they move, right, since there's slits going up and down the whole thing. Again, for those of you tuning in and you're wanting to sign up for, this, for the class on how to make the little Nelly table runner that we're starting, uh, you don't have to have the ruler, but it helps, especially if you're looking for more tools and gadgets, <laughs> like many of us quilters are. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use it as we make the project, but I'll also teach you how to make it without it, just with regular plain quilting rulers, okay? All right, so next thing, we talked about the kit, we talked about the pattern. All the links to this stuff is in the description box below. Here is, I was said that I was going to talk about another one of Gudrun's uh, patterns. We'll talk about some of her books. And I put the link to Stripology Mixology 2, which is this book, uh, because I'm going to show you a quilt from this one that I did last year. Does anybody remember when I made my daughter's summer camp quilts? They went to summer camp in the Dominican Republic, and she needed a lightweight quilt. So we chose, uh, I chose a light quilt batting, but she chose all the fabrics. And then based on the fabrics she chose, 
we looked through these books and she chose this quilt from Stripology Mixology 2 and it was a hit. Several of the videos that I shared of me making it and the process of making it had like over a million views on Instagram. So this was Ali's summer camp quilt. Big blocks. When I tell you it whipped up quick, I can't even remember how, how long it took me to make it. I feel like it was like <laughs> a couple weeks before they left and I was like, I'm going to make an entire quilt. Let's go. Um, but look how fun. And it's all about using color contrast here. This darker gray pops. Let me scoot this over. Because it goes, uh, uh, or I should say, it contrasts with the other background fabrics in this. So imagine, if you look at this block here, it's a half square triangle, right? Except that one half of the half square triangle is a solid fabric. And the other half of the half square triangle is made up of one, two, three, four, and five fabrics. That's it. And so those are the blocks. You see here, this guy is turned again. It's, you get kind of this pinwheel effect from the darker fabrics. And then all those lighter ones make up the strip piece half of the half square triangle fabrics. I mean, it's just, it's simple, but it's just an amazing way to use color, color value, even um, the size of the motifs. People were asking me like, what fabric collection? I was like, fabric collection? She just picked random prints that were left over in my stash. Like they were even from different manufacturers. These fabrics were not even the same, but they all went together so, so well. So if this looks like a quilt that you think you wanna make or check out, I went ahead and put my affiliate link to GE Designs website because you can buy the book from them. It's Stripology Mixology 2. Now she, ha I have them all. <laughs> Stripology Mixology, this is the first one two and then three. And aside from the 13 different quilts, this Stripology Mixology 3 actually has 14 quilts. They come in different sizes, all the designs in here. It's a great bang for your buck because you don't have to buy individual patterns. Like you get a ton in here. They work great and they tell you what they use up. So for example, this, the first book says uh, 13 quilts in multiple sizes made with 10 inch squares, five inch squares, two and a half inch strips, one and a half inch strips, and the Stripology rulers. And then of course, because it's mixology, you get cocktail recipes in there too. So this one that I made for my daughter um, is with 10 inch, and it's the same thing, 10 inch squares, five inch squares. So if you're someone who has a bunch of pre-cuts from way back in the day that you never ended up using to make your actual projects, definitely um, consider getting one of these books so that you can um, make, this is the one. So check that out. Ta-da! Do you see how you have your half square triangles? The black and white in this design is made up of the different strips of the black and white fabrics. And then you have those pops of the red, the orange, the yellow, and the green there um, that stick out. I mean, this is just, it's called a Trixie. And this is the lap size that's shown. I can't remember. I think I made the twin size. Um, but it's an awesome, awesome, awesome pattern. Okay. So anyway, you can check that out. Um, check out her books. And I, like I said, I put my affiliate link to the book on her website where y'all can check that out in the description below. And that was the quilt. Look how cute. We used even one of the fabrics that was featured in it for the binding. And then, so we get some good long wearing use out of it without the binding coming apart. I went ahead and zigzag machine stitch bind the binding on. It turned out great. Okay. And she still uses it till this day. So awesome. Okay. So that's that. A little talk about the stripology rulers, the stickers, um, some of the squares and the blocks. I have so many. This is all. <laughs> These are all blocks for the little Nelly. Uh, but again, the one that we're going to be making, if you're getting the kit, is going to be these guys. These kind of tonal solids in all these different super fun colors with a gray background. So if you're getting the kit from us, the supply kit, you're getting all the stuff. And I talked about this at the beginning of the show today. You get all the stuff that you need except for backing and binding fabric. But we're throwing in the fusible fleece or light fusible batting, I should say. The pattern, the pre-cut stack for the colors, the yardage that you need for borders and the background squares, a spool of thread and a fun sticker. Okay, so you get all that stuff that you need. And that's the one that we are going to be making. So again... Yay, Laura says, all purchased, ready to go. Awesome, I love to hear that. All right. Yeah, Valerie says she remembers that quilt. Amazing, yes, and it was from that book. I kept telling people, I was like, y'all are sleeping on these stripology mixology books. And Gudrun has been in the game, like I said, y'all, for decades. These books, this, this is not new. 
<laughs> the stuff is has been out, okay? Very, very amazing uh, teacher and quilt designer. So check her stuff out. All right. Now, what else was I going to say? I think that was that about that, that, that. I showed y'all a little bit about cutting with the Stripology rulers. Like I said, we do have these guys in stock. And so we're shipping this stuff out starting tomorrow morning. What else? I think that's it. Let me see if anybody has any questions for me in the chat box here. Let's see. Um, Sylvia says, late coming in or late coming on, confused on how to order the kit and the course. So whenever I'm talking about anything on these live shows, the link is in the video description box. And then we sometimes put it in the chat as well. Uh, if you're watching, Sylvia, I see that you're watching on YouTube. In the YouTube video description box that you see directly below the video, sometimes you see a little button that says show more or see more. If you click on that, all the information on the show will be there, including links to everything that I mentioned, uh, how to sign up for the class. But because we're featuring this online course right now, it's going to be on the featured tab on our website as well, all the products. So the Stripology Ruler is on the Featured tab. And by Featured tab, I mean you go to CraftyGemini.com, you click where it says Shop, and if you hover over where it says Shop, a menu drops down and it says Featured. If you click there, you're going to see the Stripology Squared Mini Ruler, which I just talked about, this guy. You're going to see the hard copy Lil Nelly pattern by itself. If you have fabric, maybe you have Stripology Rulers, you don't want to use the Stripology Rulers, and you just want to tune into the class and make it, from your own stuff with regular rulers, you can just get the hard copy pattern from us. Um, that is there. And then the kit, which includes the hard copy pattern, okay? And then the rest of the stuff that I just talked about here is there. And then a separate listing for the online course. In order to participate and get unlimited access to the video lessons and the three live chat Q&As that start this weekend, okay? We're going to do one on Sunday another one the following Sunday, the 28th, so the 21st of April, the 28th of April, and then the following Friday, April, uh, May 3rd, we're going to do another live Q&A where you can pop on live, ask me your questions, obviously, as they pertain to the project that we're working on. Um, we'll share different tips, hacks, things like that. And um, in order to participate in all that uh, and watch the 12 different video lessons on how to make the project. The first six videos go live on Saturday, this Saturday, April 20th. Okay. Then videos seven through 11 will be posted on Tuesday. And then the following Friday, the 12th video will be posted. So between the next, between now and next Friday, all the videos will be posted on your student account. But in order to participate, you have to sign up for the course. And that's separate from the pattern, from the ruler and from the kit. Okay. The course is separate. Those of you that have taken any of my garment sewing classes know how it works. Cause we always do it like that too. You gotta, you know, you buy the class separate and then whatever supplies or pattern or whatever you want on a side. Hi, Michelle. She says, I got mine. Can't wait. Yay. Mary's asking, I have the larger stripology ruler. Can I use that? Yes, absolutely. You can use that. Um, uh, I'll just have to make a couple tips. Maybe Mary, if you can tune into the live Q and A's, that would be good a great way for you to, um, you know, just email me a little question to remind me that when I go live for me to grab my big one, just tell me which one you have since I have all of them. Um, let me know which one you have. And that's something that I think everybody can benefit from, um, me pointing out in the live question and answer session is like how to align things up with a different stripology rule. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Um, Mary's asking what size stripology ruler is needed. So the pattern itself is designed for this guy, the little stripology squared mini. So these are the ones that we have some in stock right now in our online shop. So it's calls for this one. If you're new to stripology rulers, I would say this is a great one to start with so that you can get a handle on what the lines are, how to cut with the slits. You don't really want to start messing with the big ones and run the risk of breaking it or snapping it and, you know, or being super overwhelmed because you put it on your table and you're like, this thing is huge. I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yay. Okay. Awesome. Great. I see several of you. Ooh, Miss Bernadine says she has all of them. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Renee says I had one but never knew how to use it. See, this, this is why I'm here. This is why I'm here. I like to teach stuff like this. And because I know a lot of my students probably, and, and that's why I said, I'm like, a lot of you probably have this ruler, <laughs> but I know how it feels. Like you look at all these lines and then you see like diagonal lines and you're just like, what is going on? It feels too, like too much. Don't worry. I'm going to show you the basics of how to use it. And once you use it for something simple, like how to make these little blocks for the little Nelly table runner, you're going to then be like, hmm, 
mm, it's like your eyes almost get tuned to which lines you're looking at, okay? And so this is also gonna be a great way for y'all to practice the part that I said is the trickiest part. The numbers and the lines are not tricky at all, okay? You just follow what it specifically says. The, the reason it feels overwhelming is because there's all these measurements. But unless you have a specific project to make with it, it's like you're looking at all the numbers instead of just looking at the numbers you need. Does that make sense? So we were talking about how I had the ruler oriented. I'm looking at full inch increments and half inch, right? So the big black circles with the number, one, two, three is one inch increments, okay? The stars are at the half inch cuts. And it has a little key down here that says star equal, you know, star, one and a half inch cuts. So, so you go from zero to a star, that's one and a half, okay? From this one and a half star to the next one is another inch and a half. So they're not just half inch increments, they're one and a half inch increments. So you go one and a half, one and a half, and you just go to the next star. So even without having the stickers, if you know you need to cut one and a half inch wide strips, you just follow where the stars are at. Boom, boom, boom. You start at zero, right? Clean off. And then you go one and a half, three, four and a half, six, like that. Now, if you turn the ruler over, quarter inch cuts. So now we have a quarter inch, three quarter inch, one and a quarter inch, one and three quarters, two and a quarter, all these other increments that you can follow on this side, okay? So this here to me, let me see, this is, a, they're half inch increments. The, the width of the uh, strips in the middle here are half of an inch in between each one, okay? So there's different ways to use it and different numbers. On the left side here, you see the same one inch increments going up, but on the right side, you see the, the measurements that correspond with the white lines that I talked about earlier for trimming up blocks at like three and a half inch because you need a block that finishes three inches or four and a half inches because it needs to finish four, like that. You have six and a half and it's telling you right here where it says six and a half, that white line that cuts across here is six and a half. Down to here, six and a half. Okay, so five and a half, same thing on the white, or excuse me, the black line on that one, this big one here, three and a half, two and a half, zero. So like it all is there. You just need to know which ones to look at for the specific blocks that you're making or trimming up. All right, so hope, hope that helps. Um, Renee says, will it use other patterns? Will you teach other patterns? So I do plan to teach other patterns, but these rulers, you can make a ton of different things with them. Okay. Of course, Gudrun is going to have a, her patterns. They have some freebie tuto or freebie patterns. They also have freebie tutorials that you can watch on the GE Designs um, YouTube channel. They go live uh, several times a week also. And I know sometimes she pulls uh, different tutorials from the archives and puts little blurbs, you know, like little shorter video tutorials and tips um, about her rulers or her patterns in the videos. This right here, if you got into this world of like stripology stuff, you would never need to make another quilt pattern again because there's so many ways to use it and so many of her patterns that you can make with it, okay? All right, uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Um, let's see, Kay says she's had a ruler like that for 25 plus years and it's huge, can I use it? I have no idea. I only have experience with the stripology ruler, so I don't, I don't know. If it will work for this project, Kay, but you can also just make it with regular rulers. So it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't matter. You can try and see if, if the information translates over as you see the video lessons, how I teach it. Uh, otherwise, you can just grab, you know, your regular quilting rulers and make it that way too. Okay? All right. Um, yes, Barbara says, I have the Excel, the Stripology Excel ruler. She says that I bought recently. It was perfect for the quilts I made. I might get the mini also. Yes, the Excel is... It's quite big. I have them all over here, but they're all stacked on my shelf. So I think that's it. I covered everything. If you tuned in a little bit late, make sure you go back to the beginning of this episode and watch the replay so you can see exactly everything that's that we're talking about, what the project we're making, what the kit includes, where you can get the pattern, where you can get your supplies, the ruler, all that stuff. Uh, and then I will be sending out a couple more emails just to remind y'all one quick note. The course itself is $10 off right now. It's like a little flash sale just to get people excited and signed up. But on Saturday night at midnight, okay, uh, the course price is going back up to the regular price of $37. So if you want to save 10 bucks there, you can put those 10 bucks towards, you know, fabric or towards buying your kit. You know, you can put that money towards buying the pattern um, so that you can save a little there. 
uh, definitely go ahead and do that between now, today, Wednesday, and Saturday, okay? Because then the price goes up. So you will still be able to participate and join the course after Saturday night. It'll just be at the higher price. So you can jump on next week, but it'll just be $37 instead of $27, okay? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing y'all in my new quilting class for the Lil Nelly uh, Table Runner by GE Designs. Make sure to click the description box below, whether you're watching us on Facebook or on YouTube, so you can find all the sign-up links on where you can find everything I talked about on today's episode. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a great week, everybody.